sick or you don't feel fevers or chills no. or anything like that, huh? But look at this one. There's a little cave here. Okay, we have Jonathan here. Hi, Jonathan. Yes. Hi, how you doing? Doing good. Good, good. Jonathan's diabetic and he's here for possible ulcer. Um, I don't know what's underneath here, so we'll find out. <laughs> it's that he started with this uh, cast just like this one on this side, right? Mm -hmm. Same same one like this, and then it became like this. Yeah, well, it's always, it's been bigger, but yeah. um, I've always, this foot has always been a little more problematic. Than that. More than this one? Like this okay. one, it probably, has, it won't be any worse than that, or it hasn't ever. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the right but there's always been... Was there any like drainage, any kind of pus yes. coming out of here? Uh, when? Exactly. When recently? Uh, yeah. It, it, if I walk a lot, normally. Oh, it, really? The pus yeah. comes out? Yeah. So you've had this like this for a while then? Um, yeah, probably for like a couple of weeks. Oh, a couple of weeks. Well, yeah, a couple of weeks. Uh huh. Yeah. So you 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 walking around a lot or? Um, I did a couple of days. I normally don't walk around a lot because of this. Uh -huh. um, but I did. I would, uh, my foot was was crying afterwards. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> so did you did you see some drainage? Um, after that? yeah, like it's like a little. It's normally like a little spot. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Like an oven. Yeah, and it was like, and it, it's. Uh, I don't know. Like I don't. I know exactly where it was from. Mm -hmm. I thought it was from in between my. At one point, I had athlete's foot, but it looks like that part is kind of healing. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's from the calvins. I see. Yeah. But you they you saw other doctors about this and what did they, what did they do? Um it was uh like it was way smaller than that. It wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. Um but they pretty much shaved it down and mm -hmm. um, like what I'm doing? Yeah, and dressed it and I did like self treatment at home and I think two weeks later uh it was fine. Oh, it, it closed up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this time, the calcium is really thick. Yeah, it is. It was thick last time, too. Oh, it's really? just that, um, I guess I walk, the way I walk is just, you know, I don't know, I don't, and like I said, maybe it's because uh, of when I injured my foot last year. Uh -huh. um, and I'm getting older, so <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> Well, you you don't look that old. You look good. Don't yeah. don't blame your don't blame aging now. I'm, I'm sure not. My mom, she's a diabetic. And, oh, she is. Okay. And she has all kinds of stuff going on with her. So I'm trying to avoid it. Like she had, uh, like I like that's why I always like you know um, make sure I can like feel my feet or whatnot. Right. Cause she do you had, have a pretty good sensation or? Yeah, know? yeah. She had um, she has Charco foot. Oh, she did. Yeah, oh, wow. she does. Well, and they suggested surgery, and she said no. No. Uh -huh. So she's basically it's permanent issue for her now. Oh really? Yeah. Is she in like a boot or something? No, she no. uh she still walks norm like you know normally normal. I bought her a couple of canes that she hates to use, but uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, she has to control her diabetes. Yeah. Is her diabetes is, well she, Like I said, she has a whole bunch of other stuff going on, like uh, kidney failure. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. And CHF. Um, the CHF isn't like a big deal for them, mm -hmm. but the kidney failure, she's on the transplant list. Oh, really? Luckily, she's not one of those dialysis patients where it's like, you know, like affecting her really badly or anything. Mm -hmm. um, but... It looks like there's an opening there. You don't feel sick or you don't feel fevers or chills no. or anything like that, huh? But look at this one. There's a little cave here. Yeah, I figured there was something going on right there. Dark, dark cave. Yeah. This thing is really thick. And we need to clean out all this now. And tell me how your diabetes are doing. Um, it's been pretty good, especially over the last year. But mm -hmm. uh, 
My A1C is probably between six and seven normally. Okay. Um, I think it's six point one. Uh, I just had a. That's good. A point. Yeah, I just had one. Uh, maybe a week ago. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then you you check your sugar all the time. Well, I have a, a continuous monitor. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. yeah you told me you you have an insulin. Yeah, I, I do have insulin, but that's just one. Like he officially told me to stop taking the short acting insulin, mm -hmm. um, and the long acting insulin. He said I probably need. Uh, you know, he was like, you probably should do start dialing it down, um, to see, you know, if you can maintain without it. Yeah, because you're you're type two, right? Yeah. Yeah, type two really shouldn't be on an insulin yeah. unless your sugar is really out of control because it's gonna stop producing insulin of your own, which is very dangerous too. So unless you're type one, you really shouldn't be taking insulin. Right. So I think you should definitely work work toward that. I'm glad he did do a check, and you know because um, he was like, you know this. Most of the stuff to me indicates that you don't have type one, so that's you know mm -hmm. he was able to determine. You know he was new. Mm -hmm. I mean, because my primary managed it before, mm -hmm. but yeah, he had started me on the endocrinologist, going to the endocrinologist. But who 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 started you on the my, insulin? Uh, uh, yeah, another. That was when I was a kid. They had me uh, on insulin. Yeah. And then when did when did you get back on insulin? Um, a year and a half ago. Oh, okay, like that's that. pretty recent. Yeah. Was it was it was the sugar going up and down a lot? Yes. At that time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So if it's well managed now, I think it's a good idea to be off on that insulin because yeah. it's kind of dangerous, you know. Because they can drop your insulin. I mean, uh, your sugar level pretty. It definitely pretty, does. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. It's up and down, and you don't feel good. Right. When your when your sugar's up and down like that, because you can you can drop it very quickly, right? Yes. Very, and very then quickly. and then soon you'll be looking for something to eat. Yeah. And then, and then it's just a yo yo. We call it a yo yo. Yeah, I, I hate down. that. Yeah, you just don't feel good when your sugar's up and down like that. You want you want steady sugar level. To do that, um, you know, insulin should only be used in emergency only. Right. Yeah, he was uh he was telling me the medicine, the pill that I take is designed to it uh basically it draws whatever carbs you eat it draws it out of your body through your kidneys. Mm -hmm. Um so like you know like a uh, car like whatever you know it breaks down the sugar I guess and it, it, so he said it's designed to do that and protect your kidneys I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it works pretty well. Obviously, it makes you go a lot. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, it works well for sure, but it uh, it drops it down a lot. Yeah, so you 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 kind of feel bad, you know. Yeah. And then, well, you built a lot of cows here. I'm still working oh, on really? it. Really? Yeah. And you know what's funny is, um, like before my my it started hurting, I tried to like you know with the pumice and all that mm -hmm. i try to do it to at least keep it down so mm -hmm. I mean, it's, yeah it builds up quickly so i know i probably need orthotics yeah you need to sure. take the pressure off the area yeah. because it's uh you're kind of flat-footed here yeah mechanically when you flat foot it um pressure goes when you're walking right you don't have much of a bounce right exactly yeah so you you kind of Put uh, all your weight straight into your ball of the foot, which right. is where your problem is. So yeah. I took an X-ray and looked at it, and then your X-ray actually doesn't look bad. It doesn't have any prominent bone, you know, which I was suspicious of. But right. you don't have that, so it's just a pure mechanical issue, I think. You don't yeah. have a bone that's prominent, you know, things like that. So I think we definitely need to work on that because I know you liked. Walking out there, right? Yeah, I do. You look like you like exercising. I do. Yeah, and then and then your job is standing all day long. So all day. All day on. That's so why I was like, whatever I, I, I'm getting done, I need to get done. I, I'm not scheduled to go back until September, but they might call us back sooner. You know, right, like, right. June or July. It just, the way uh, it looks, everybody's traveling again. So. Right, right, and then you're a flight attendant, right? You told yeah. me. Yeah. So. 
That's a quite demanding job on your feet. Yeah. It's like it's like a uh, it's like a restaurant server on a on a exactly on a, on a moving plane. Right. <laughs> so that requires a lot more stability and energy and you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's stressful sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. Most of the time, it's a nice easy job. Uh -huh. Only time is not is when you have like medical issues and you know, oh really yeah, yeah that's some people are sick there on the plane Caesars huh? and stuff like that oh have you seen those yeah I haven't had anybody die though all <laughs> oh, right that would be traumatic yeah I, mean, I haven't right. had to do any CPR on the plane oh really okay yeah. you guys all learn how to do it though huh yeah in case you have to use it like you know like I said it's there I have been issues but it's not been. Uh -huh. You know, I've been flying for eight years, so I've been lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Paul, you've been flying for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's good. But you've been all over the place? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've been for, uh, every continent except Africa. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah. I have one in Antarctica, of course. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. But I love traveling. Yeah, yeah. And this COVID really did a number on you then, It huh? really did. It really uh, did. Uh, and I'm used to making a lot more money. Really? <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a big problem, too. Yeah. So you have a little open ulcer here. Mm -hmm. It's not big, but definitely needs... You feel any of that? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, is it painful? No. You feel the pressure? or? Oh, yeah. Do you have a lot of sensation? Um, Right there? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. or, or at the bottom of the foot? Oh, uh, yeah, especially where the cow is. <laughs> oh, I see. So you feel um, pain when you're walking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do have a little opening here. And you're bleeding well, though, which is a good sign. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, some medicine there. I'm going to have you start taking care of it, like soak it. Okay. Have some salt to kill all the bacteria. Okay. And then we're going to take pressure off. You brought some shoes. Mm hmm I'm going to accommodate it so that you're not putting a lot of pressure over here. Okay. Okay. I just have to make sure you get your body to do its own healing because it's um, it's capable of doing it. It's just not doing it. You have too much stuff on top of it. Right. So it wasn't healing. So I cleaned it all out. I keep making it bleed and this will get smaller and hopefully it'll close in a few weeks. Okay. Yeah. You're bleeding well, so which is a good sign. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think it'd be, I think you'd be fine. So there's, there's your little. My there's your, yeah. They'll be on me. I'll stay off your feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also gonna clean out the other side because okay. I need to prevent, uh, prevent the other side from having an ulcer, right? Okay. So let's go over here real quickly. Right. You can just put it there, get no problem. You have to make sure that you don't get any opening here. All right. And then eventually after the ulcer heals, then we're gonna make some support. Okay. So take pressure off so that you can be out there walking and exercising and all those things. That's a good deal. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Next few weeks, that's what we're hoping. I think it'll help pretty quickly because your sugar is well controlled. Yeah, it is. You're overall pretty healthy guy. Yeah. You have desire to get better, right? Which is yes. a big portion of, you know, the <laughs> incentive. Incentive to go, go back to work, make yes. money, fly yes. all over the world. That's what you want, right? Yes. So you're very and motivated. Keep my feet. Yeah, keep your feet. Yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah, don't don't let anybody do anything. Yeah. Just we, we keep everything. Yeah, you have a really deep seated core here too, which is yeah. kind of dangerous. So we have to keep an eye on this one too, right here. A little bit deep in there too. You can see a little deep callus there. Like these things can open up, so we have to be really careful. Over here as well. Okay, very good. Some more callus down. Yeah. I'm gonna get you uh, connected with our health coach who okay. can. Uh, follow up with your diet okay so be able to make sure that you're not falling off you know okay. you, need, you need a coach everybody needs a coach right right so we can do that and that'll be very helpful i'm going to modify your um your 
shoes with some support like this so okay. take pressure off that area okay. so we're going to put that on there okay. but that'll do it for today okay i'm going to put some medicine and cover it up uh you can pick take a last picture before and after before and after on this one Okay, thank you, Jonathan, for allowing us to film you today. No problem. Okay. All right. Thank you.